So hopefully you get as excited as I am about this. I have to go sleep now, but I, I thought I'd first just do this recording because I think it's quite cool. So this is Jitsi, and for all of you who use Jitsi, you know that the recording feature that we have, we click on the three dots and we can say start recording, and then we've got to load our Dropbox or link our Dropbox account to it, which is a cool feature. Uh, some people want to use other cloud services. I was looking for something that could record locally. Um, now what happens is generally with Jitsi, it it creates a new instance like another user in your meeting when you click uh, the start record um, and it uses the program uh, Jibri, which is one of the Jitsi suite of things. And Jibri is like an extra user, but it's a silent user and it records the meeting and moves it up into Dropbox. Okay, that's how I understand it. But I was looking for something that you could record locally on your PC um, and just save it, you know, without saving it to the cloud, which will be a cool feature. And uh, the options that you have is using something like OBS, which will do screen recording and you can, but somebody's going to be familiar with OBS. So introducing this extension, it's a Chrome extension. So I think you're going to have to use Chrome for this, which makes sense because we, we literally all use Chrome for our Jitsi meetings. Um, and it's called Record RTC. So you can go look at all, you know, your Chrome extensions. You search for Chrome extensions, look for Record RTC and install it. And you, I, for a way, it will be up and running. Now, if you don't see after installing the icon over here you can just go to the extensions there and you might notice that this is not checked so it might be the situation so you're not seeing that icon so you just go in there and enable it so you can see it okay so what this does brilliantly it saves it into the chrome browser so you're going to create a web rtc interface and it's from that side it's going to share the screen it's going to record your screen so let me just show you okay so when you're going to start the meeting, pretty much there. Look at this. Isn't this cool? So you have the option of recording all of these. Um, I haven't tested them all yet to maybe select Chrome tab and might record everything in here. Or we can go for screen, microphone and speakers. So I'll experiment with all of these stuff. But let's assume we're going to go with this. You'll see this dialogue that pops up. Very familiar dialogue. It's the same one that pops up when you share your screen in... Uh, Jitsi. So if I click there, look what happens. There we go. So that uh, recording extension is now bringing up the record RTC. So it's giving you this very same interface that you use with Jitsi. It's all the same kind of ecosystem. Then because you're going to record audio, make sure that is checked. By default, they check it if you said you want to record audio. And then you select this because we are now recording this Jitsi screen. Okay, so this that's popping up is not Jitsi, it's the record RTC that's coming up like this. So it's like a, a double RTC re, um, setup that we find. Okay, so I select this and I say share. So I'm now starting to record. And here you see at the bottom it says record RTC is sharing your screen. Okay, so if I hide that, so I can go in and you know, go the usual, go and do the normal things and function normally. So I'm not going to share that now. So as I'm going along, it's recording, If the video comes on. So it's doing a screen recording because it's sharing this screen with that application. Isn't that cool? So I'm doing screen recording and the audio is busy recording at the same time. When I'm done, I remember when I disconnect here doesn't mean that's going to disconnect because that's an independent instance running. So say I'm done with the meeting now, I'll click over here and that will be it. Okay, so I shut it down like that or I could right click and make whichever options. But if you click on that, it's going to stop the recording and now I can stop the meeting. There we are, done with the meeting, happy days. If I go to the extension there, um, even if this was closed, even if I closed it, I can go back there. If I click on that, you'll see at the bottom it says all recordings. Go there and here's the last one. Check this out. 
Okay. Look at that resolution that it's recorded at, my screen. That's the size. It records to WebM, which is an open source uh, um, codec there. And then if we come here, we can rename the file. We can delete it. But this resides in our Chrome browser now. Okay, so if I wanted to play this back, um, there you see, I'm going to just hop through this. Okay, so you see this is recording my screen, my audio, everything. There's my meeting recorded. If I want to download it, literally click there, downloads onto my device. But I don't want to download that now. I'll just delete this out here. And that's it. You now have a local recording and you pretty much can record different qualities. You can record in HD everything because it's a screen recording and recording your audio. Phenomenal. So I'm very excited about this. Hopefully you get excited. Uh, for those of you who will be complaining that there's no you know, local recording, install the extension and get up and running and share your experiences with us. So have a fantastic day and God bless.